Hi there! Lester Fields here. Raiders in Appalachia have been getting their hands on stolen Brotherhood weapons. I need to talk to Knight Shin about this, and I find him in his usual spot in Fort Atlas. Please make sure to fill out your ration requests. And no, we will not be accommodating aversion to mutated produce. All produce is mutated now. I need to rem- You're here. Good. To review the current situation, one of our patrols located a cache of dangerous weapons in a raider storeroom. Stolen Brotherhood weapons, no less. Your assignment is to secure the storeroom for the Brotherhood, and the weapons along with it. I'll put together a squad and meet you there. But given the situation, it's imperative you arrive there as soon as possible. Any questions, Initiate? Paladin Romani forbids engagement without warning. So, we will attempt to speak to them when we arrive. That being said, the raiders have already made it clear they're determined to be our enemies. Stealing supplies, ambushing patrols, using Brotherhood weapons to terrorize the region. If they are unwilling to cooperate, we will put our foot down. So be prepared for combat. One last thing. We need to confirm the weapon's source. I find it unlikely the raiders will be willing to talk until after we send them a very clear message. If any of them are still alive after that, we can question them. But priority one is securing the weapons they already have. That will be all. Dismissed. I need to make my way to the makeshift vault, which is west of Grafton. I'll recon with the Brotherhood group led by Knight Shin, and we'll enter. Our first task is securing the stolen weapons, of course, but we really need to capture at least one raider alive to find out where they're getting the stolen weapons from. A lone Meyerler greets me as I find the vault entrance. I take it out and then head inside. We have a visitor. Did the Brotherhood send you? Didn't know they were working with run of the mill average wastelanders. Not looking to negotiate. The battle starts rather well, abruptly, but ends just as fast. That one stung. I find their leader, Pierce. Looks like things didn't turn out so well for me. Get it over with then. Hold on. Let me get this straight. You barged in here, looking to reclaim your property, only to tell me you don't know where it came from? This is almost too good to make up. I knew my feeling about the Brotherhood was right, but you just keep on confirming it. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I don't talk about raider affairs on Brotherhood territory. That's what this is now, right? If you really want to know. You can let me go, and come talk to me in Crater. I deal with reasonable individuals, not an entourage of fascists with their guns pointed at my face. I don't like it. But we have to let him go. We don't have the resources to waste on holding him prisoner. And Paladin Romani forbids executing enemies who have surrendered. They call you Knight, don't they? I didn't know that was another word for lapdog. Our order is held together by the chain that binds. Each link steadfastly supporting the next. It's not something that a lawless worm like you would understand. You wound me, Knight. In the heart, that is. Since I've surrendered, and you can't touch me anymore. I've had enough of this. Leave here and don't come back. And let me be clear, there are no orders protecting active trespassers. Thanks for the tip. 
I'll add it to my compendium. To me, for your next orders, Initiate. And Pierce will talk, but only once he's back in the crater. I go to get my orders from Shin. We completed the first part of our mission. No thanks to you, Initiate. I thought I made it clear that we would talk to them first. The Brotherhood follows guidelines to carry out its missions. It's one thing among many that sets us apart from other wasteland scum. Don't ignore the enemy, and don't charge in without orders. You look like a chicken with your head cut off. Moving forward, we still need to track down the weapon source. That man appeared to know something. I don't care how you get it out of him, but make sure you get it. We'll set up some Protectrons to guard it, and transfer the weapons back to Fort Atlas. After that, it can be used as an intermediate storehouse for anything our patrols find in the northern part of Appalachia. I thought the raiders were bad enough before that vile Cretan opened his mouth. And we just let him... This is off-topic, Initiate. Don't ask me a question like that again. I thought the raiders were bad enough... This is off... This is your top priority. The longer we let these weapons spread, the more difficult it will be to track down all of them. Though Shin seems to be having some trouble with his weapon, he's still as personable as ever. He sends me to the crater and I head off right away. Once there, I head to the back of the settlement to their war room. I can't believe they had the nerve to just barge in like that. That knight acts like some kind of righteous savior. I told you. And they're only gonna get more confident. I won't let them. Do we have their patrol routes yet? A couple ambushes ought to take them down a notch. We'll have to discuss this later. We've got a visitor. Get lost. I've got no business with you. So, you really came? Huh. To be honest, I didn't expect the Brotherhood to show its face around here with anything less than a fully armored battalion. Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? So, what can I do for you, oh honorable emissary of steel? Oh right! The weapons! After they got forcibly confiscated from us? I almost forgot about that. See, the thing is, <laughs> you and your metal buddies put me in a pretty tight spot back there. There are people here in Crater depending on me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it back to them. So I prioritized a little bit. Getting home to those people was more important than being completely sincere to a group of heavily armed tyrants. So if you're looking for help with your little weapon problem, you can look somewhere else. Don't you think you're being stubborn, Pierce? We have a good little Brotherhood peon here at our disposal. We can make use of that. We've been over this. There's no compromising with people like the Brotherhood. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. We don't know that yet for sure. Besides, everyone has their own motivations. Our visitor might have one worth talking about. I won't rely on a betrayal to take them down. You should know that. I have nothing left to discuss. I've given you my answer, Initiate. Now for your sake, I'd suggest you don't stick around. Hey, you. Don't leave yet. I've got something to say. Pierce is tight-lipped and won't give up the information, but his friend Sheena has something to say. Don't mind Pierce, he's stubborn. Holds too tightly to his morals. I'll tell you about the weapons, but you're gonna need to give me something in return. Interested? I want intel on the Brotherhood. Records, roster, correspondence. You've got people specialized in keeping track of that sort of thing, right? Transfer their data onto this holotape and bring it back to me. Then I'll tell you what you want to know. This isn't a betrayal. It's just good business sense. 
Toodles. Sheena gives me a blank holotape that she wants me to copy Brotherhood Intel onto for possibly nefarious uses. I bring it back to Fort Atlas where I consult Scribe Valdez on what to do. Don't mind this clutter. Atlas is a work in progress. What can I do for you? Or did you come to lend a hand? Raiders, huh? If they're anything like the raiders we've encountered on the expedition route, then my guess is the situation isn't pretty. All right, how can I help? Mm-hmm, I think I understand. The funny thing about data is you don't know what's real or not. Not unless you gathered it yourself. To be honest, I was working on encrypting my terminal for this kind of situation. So, if anyone accessed it who wasn't supposed to, they would just get false info and none would be the wiser. I didn't finish, but you can still use the fake data I created. Should be clearly labeled in the files. Just, uh, don't select the wrong one. This is the raiders we're talking about. It'd be bad news if they got an advantage on us. Worse, if the knight found out it was because of me. Well, you know, just trying to help where I can. Rusty nails and live wires are fun and all, but sometimes it's also nice to write code without having to get my hands dirty. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Fake data. Scribe Valdez is brilliant. I insert Sheena's holotape into the terminal and copy the dummy files. Words of wisdom initiate. Then it's back to Crater to drop off the phony info. Survival doesn't. You've got the holotape? Because you want to know where we got those Brotherhood logo rocket launchers from. And working with me is the only way you're going to find out. Good. Thanks. The weapons don't have one source. Some of them we looted off a group of unfortunate settlers. We've also traded them among ourselves. Some old friends visited Crater a while back, wielding that firepower, claiming they earned it in a fight. They were bragging about it till the day they left. Said they sent some big armored folks running. I can't confirm that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons, wasn't it? Doesn't matter to me. Now, I told you what I know. With any luck, we won't talk again. They may or may not have more, but they've definitely come in contact with them. West. They said they passed through Ohio before coming here. I don't know how much further out they went. They wouldn't shut up about it, so I learned to tune it out pretty quick. But I do remember them passing around a helmet with a bullet hole through its visor. A trophy from the Fallen. Don't change your mind. This was a one-time offer, and it's one that neither of us will speak of again. So the weapons came mostly from settlers at Foundation, as well as some raider friends who scavenged them in the aftermath of a fight they won against the Brotherhood, and confiscated a helmet with a bullet hole in the visor. I'd better get this info to Knight Shin on the double. Keep fighting out there. Someone returned their gun to the wrong place again. Do I need to call a seminar on? I see you returned from Crater. Standing by for your report. Hmm. That's not what I was hoping to hear. All right. Tell me about the sources. Oh. I see. Oh. And are those raiders still at Crater? It can't be helped, then. We need to focus on Appalachia for the moment.
Without more information, it's impossible to say. We fought plenty of raider groups across the entire expedition route. And the other one. Foundation 2. This is bad. Worse than I thought. At this rate, all of Appalachia will be toting these rocket launchers. All because of... Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my composure. We need to follow up with Foundation as soon as possible. The settlers want to rebuild, but they're only looking for what they have. Peaceful or not, civilians should not have access to that kind of technology. It's too easy for things to go wrong. Take the Great War as an example. That catastrophe is the inspiration for our mission today. You don't have clearance for that information, Initiate. Proceed with your report. So that's everything. That was a thorough report. The Brotherhood appreciates your diligence looking into this matter. Our next step is to deal with Foundation. Paladin Romani already had plans to establish contact. So, she'll want to hear about this. No need to expound everything. I'll follow up later with a more detailed report. A knight's helmet? It must be. Two other knights embarked with us from the west coast. Knight Thornberry returned part way through the journey. Knight Connors gave his life in honorable service to the Brotherhood. Show the proper respect when asking about him. To think they held on to his helmet like a trophy. It's unforgivable. That's classified information, Initiate. Not every operation runs perfectly. All you need to know is that we're fixing it. Ad Victorium. And once I give my report to Knight Shin, I am tasked with speaking to Paladin Romani about Foundation. A task I will complete next time. Stay safe out there, Wastelanders, and until next time, thanks so much for watching.